the boat, it's a bit loud. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. In the wrong direction. But we are here to explore, you know. Every time you're away. We see the sardines grilling just right here. It's perfect. <laughs> It's really fluffy, eggy. The wheel is not turning. Must be something with power steering. Hello. I would like to Almada, so I need uh, to the end of the Lisbon, I think, train. Yeah? There and back. Ah, you sell also ferry tickets, yeah? Yeah, okay. This is one ticket uh, there and back, yeah? Okay, thank you. guys in this beautiful day we are here in Lisbon but as you can see from the start of the video we are not going to Lisbon today we are going over the river to Almada let's roll and the train was only first part now we need to find the boat to get over the river So from Kashkaish whole trip with a train and a ferry and back cost me 10 euros 50 cents. I don't know it's uh, cheap because I think with the car it will be the same. So we made it to the boat, it's a bit loud. So see you on the other side. Just remember that I From the ground, let you know that I'm always around. Cause I know we can make it. Yes, we can make it if we try. Keep on the trying. I believe in you. I know you got this. Just keep on trying. This was fast actually, about seven minutes and we are already across the river. Oh. Oh. This was our boat. When 
you feel like there's too much on your plate. So first five meters, when you step out of boat, you get invited by a lot of guys to a restaurant. And uh, I don't know, I don't trust these kind of restaurants, which are like when you go straight from Lisbon and like first steps, there is a restaurant. We will go deeper in Almada to explore, maybe ask locals where to eat. But uh, we are going to Almada Velia something like that i don't want to take the bus because it's a pretty epic day and this is the first day in two weeks without the rain so let's walk that in the distance that's lisbon you can see the whole lisbon from almada but we are going to other direction and difference from Lisbon side, you feel more industrial feeling here. The houses also are from, uh, I think, 70s, 80s. It's not the touristy part of Portugal, that's for sure. And because of this port, in the air you feel the steel smell, the smell of the steel. I kind of like it actually. And I had another episode about Almada, so you should check it out. There is also Christ the King monument, but uh, long story short, Almada is city across the river in front of the opposite side of Lisbon. It's around uh, 70, 80,000 people living here in the city, but it's also a municipality. City is around 13 square kilometers, and municipality, if I'm not wrong, is around 70, 80 square kilometers. It's not the fanciest part of the Portugal, but I don't know why. I'm here like for second, third time and I feel the really good vibe here. I like this industrial, industrial, urban feel. I hope you get it. Only problem is that uh, I tried to find the place Casillas, Casillas, something like that. And I'm not sure if I'm walking in the right direction. Maybe we can ask somebody. Yep, I just asked some locals. They said it's not uh, to that side, so we were walking in the wrong direction. But we are here to explore, you know. But I like it, no tourists here. And uh, my note says that I need to tell you my experience for the train and also for the boat so i can tell you that that uh, train train was really, really comfortable i could get also seats but i was filming so i don't need to sit and uh, the boat boat ride was not uh, not the cleanest boat but it took like really fast time to get to this part so it's pretty convenient and if you want to have uh, drinks and something like that then you can take the train and the ferry also you always don't need to take the car ah but i recognize this street this is actually the street from my first video uh, casillas is uh, there or there there ah to the coast and to the left but good? Yeah. Like local good, not... Uh... Well, it's not top, but... Yeah, okay, thank you, man. So, we know that there are good restaurants, confirmed from the locals.
but I'm not sure what place is this. I believe it's Almada, but uh, what parish of Almada? And this is the uh, church, Nossa Senhora do Bom Sucesso. I hope I pronounced correctly. But take a look, guys. I would say this street actually looks even more cooler than some streets in Lisbon. But yes, I asked the restaurant guy. He told this is Casillas. This is Almada. So we are in center of Casillas. So we will go, I think, uh, the end of the Casillas. And then we will decide where we will have some dish. I asked them about sardines. They said only in December. I was last week in Sagres, and it was perfectly fine. Oh, they have kebab. I know that's not Portuguese, but I love kebab. Maybe we can try some small kebab. No, it looks like they don't have a meat anymore. We have Frutaria. In Portugal you can find these stores for fruit and vegetables. Nice. Zucchini, potato. You can find these stores actually quite often in Portugal. Even in my neighborhood, in Cascais, there's like a couple of them. Who is this guy? Jose Elias Garcia. Tell me in the comments, who is this guy? I'm bad at history. Almada, but it has so good vibe. I don't know how to explain it, but I love it. Hi. Oh, look at this building. I love these tiles when they put on houses. Looks really good. And it's pretty steep climb also. No, but I mixed something up. I wasn't here before. We are going to heart of Almada Velha. <coughs> Infrastructure in Portugal. Doggy, hello, hello doggy, don't bite me, hello, hello. <laughs> Botard, it's a uh, tow cow, <laughs> now? <laughs> ah, obrigado. <laughs> nice doggy in Almada. But as you see guys, in every episode I attract animals. I attract animals more than and people. Nice. But uh, one guy told me that there is Castello, Castello. So from there, the views must be. Oh. Oh. Another church. Yep. I think we found the place.
So if you want to see this view without people, you need to come to our mother, Velia. And uh, check out the chairs here. It's not like regular sitting chairs. You need to sleep on them. You can, can come here and take your nap. Oh. Oh. I love Almada. Take a look at that. How many oranges in that tree? That's the actually biggest tree of oranges I've seen so far in Portugal. It's like uh, 10 meters high. Our mother is full of surprises. But now I'm kind of lost, I think. We need to find the main street find the main dish in our mother. <laughs> this place is tranquil, 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 very muito tranquil. Should I buy this house? It will cost anyway. 300,000 at least. But yes, uh, I checked before about real estate in Almada. So for long-term rent, average price, I guess it was about from 18 to 20 euros per square meter. And if you want to buy, average price for this region was around 3,000 until 3,500 per square meter. So if you are buying house or apartment 100 square meters, be ready to pay from 300,000 euros to, I say 300 uh, or 400,000 euros. But that's still, that's 50% of the price what Lisbon has to offer. So in Almada, prices are 50% cheaper than in Lisbon. We are back in Casillas. Let's go try the local food. Somebody in my comment section told me that we should try food here, then it's good. Let's see. So I sat down at one of the restaurants. I don't know the name of it. It is... Uh, Restaurante, Restaurante Cabrita, I think. And I already ordered the uh, pica pau. I never actually tried this before. That's a Portuguese dish. I think that's pieces of beef and sardines. I see that they make uh, grilled sardines. So let's see. Sorry, can I ask this uh, pica pau? It's uh, Beef or pork or it's together? No, no, no. Uh, you want uh, beef, beef or pork? Ah. Beef or pork. But, but it's just pork. pieces of yeah, meat? Pieces of meat, yeah. With vegetables or without? No, 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 no just, just uh, beef. If you want the vegetables, you, you need to order up. Ah, yeah. Yes, because I never know. But it's uh, traditional Portuguese. Yeah. If, I, uh, uh, if you want the vegetables. No, no. Fries, now we see the sardines no. grilling just right here. It's perfect. <laughs> so, pica pau arrived. Let's try it. Mm. It is like marinated beef. It's really good. I like it, yes, it's the first time. But it's marinated before or no? Ah, it's just uh, sauce. Uh. Yeah, just slice and then just cook. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm.
I don't know how to describe it because uh, it's not marinated. I feel olive oil, some vinegar. It's not like steak. It's uh, well done, but it's done good. Mm. And olives in Portugal. You appreciate olives. Mm. This is the second dish of Portuguese cuisine, which uh, becomes one of my favorite dishes. Smells good. It smells good. <laughs> yeah. Muito bom. Yeah. <laughs> smells good. And they just grilling outside the restaurant. Pick a pop. Approved. 100%. But <laughs> love this dish. I hope sardines will be as good as in Sagres. Pick a pow, it translates like a woodpecker or the Schweinefleisch. No, it's German. This is German? This is German or this Portuguese? <laughs> German. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I thought, what is the Schweinefleisch? I, <laughs> it's okay. Oh, looks good. Mm. I need the. Yes, thank you, man. Oh, pigeon came to, to support me on my journey. So these are the sardines. It uh, looks good. You don't need to look good to be good. <laughs> Let's see. The roast is good. But they are very hot, straight from the grill. It's very hot, but it's, it's good. It's just as good than in uh, Sagres. God damn! I have every dish in Portugal. Sardines. Ah, but it's so hot. Check out the fillet and the roast. Just just from the charcoal. Mm. I love it. This is my favorite seafood in Portugal. I ate lobsters, I ate crabs, I ate shrimp. Fuck it. Sardines is your way to go. Mm. Amazing. Oh, so hot. I have some eggs. These are also mm, perfect. So my channel, it looks like it's becoming sardine promoting channel. <laughs> Sorry, I just love them. Mm, potatoes were better in Sagres, but sardines, I'm not sure yet, but definitely, if you come to Almada, you can come to eat in the restaurant Cabrita and have a sardines. They taste like sardines should taste. We are from the sardines. Perfect. And I believe you have a lot of omegas. Everything is sardines. Don't buy supplements. Come to Portugal and eat sardines. Okay. So put food in the casa. That's my final dish. Oh, and I will be full. Very good. <laughs>
You have a pole wall also, pole, pole wall, calamari, see? Si. Yeah, but uh, amanya. <laughs> okay, let's try the pudding. This is ovos. Pudding. Eh? Clara. 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 Uh, Clara. What is Clara? It's like ah, okay, yes. It's like a blended egg. Mmm. Muy bom. Very soft. Ah. It's really fluffy, eggy, and the sauce reminds uh, caramel. Mm. Every day you learn something new. In Portugal. So I'm officially full. I had my pudding, sardines, and pica pao. Three dishes. I rate uh, first dish eight out of the ten. Sardines ten out of ten. And pudding, for the first time trying, I give eight uh, out of ten because I never tried before. And for everything, I paid 28 euros. That is so cheap if we compare to Kashkash. I want to say obrigado to Cabrita restaurant. This was muito bom. Obrigado. 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 Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, man, for all the information. Thank you. I love this place Thank and you. see you. Bye bye. <laughs>So we cannot go inside the submarine, but we can go to this ship. So the length is over 83 meters. Let's go inside. He told that this is Portuguese Navy ship, very old, but I think you can see that. Ooh, it's the first time I'm boarding so old ship. Wow, we you have a lot of place here. You can have a party. Nice. Oh, hello guys. This guy don't looks like a crew because he's all chained up. In the absence of effective means of food preservation, the vessel had place for transport of livestock. Most of the animals were pigs and sheep. In some long journeys, the number of animals on board was considerably large, ensuring the food supply for the long periods of time. So they have the sheep and pigs to keep them full <laughs> it's crazy hello amigo these guys are having a nap For crew members resting, the tables were dismantled and attached to the ceilings in order to have enough space to place the hammocks. Good night, guys. Phew, but from outside you cannot imagine that this ship would be so big. It's like three floors and you can see. It's like big old house. 
this looks like the top G's. Oh, we missed the kitchen guy. He's cooking. Maybe pick up all and sardines. Okay. Where is the exit? The wheel is not turning. Must be something with power steering. That's loud. I don't want to be the bellman, for sure. <laughs> That's loud. Okay, I think we end here at this ship. I'm going home, back to Kashkash. Almada, thank you for all the surprises. See you next time, guys. Ciao, don't forget to like and subscribe. Whew, what a nice place.